Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Thank you all so much for the love that you've given us. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, so thank you. Now, let's continue. Have you ever wondered whether you're truly happy? When your days are filled with obligations and responsibilities and rushed weekends, it can be hard to tell if it's all making you as happy as you can be. While happiness is determined by multiple factors, there are some common signs that you may be unhappy without even knowing it. So with that said, here are six signs you may be unhappy with your life. Number one, you spend a lot of time on social media. Who doesn't love scrolling through Instagram or Twitter from time to time? It's interesting and fun to catch up on the news and see what other people are up to, but we should be aware that social media is a catalyst for unhealthy comparisons. You may find yourself extremely invested in the snapshots of your friends as a way to fill a void in your own life. Or if you find yourself posting several times a day, you may be seeking validation from those around you. Unplugging for a bit and taking time away from your phone will help to clear your head. Number two, you wake up with a dreadful feeling. When you roll out of bed in the morning, are you looking forward to the day ahead? Or does the morning sun make you wanna crawl right back up under the covers? If thinking about your day causes a pit to form in your stomach or intense feelings of stress, you might wanna ask yourself why. You could just be a night owl and can't get yourself up unless the coffee's ready first. But beyond being tired, if you're dreading the day ahead of you, this is a subtle sign that you're unhappy with your life. Number three, you cling to a faraway light. Do you fantasize about the future all the time? Do you get lost in your imaginations about what you want for your future self? According to Austin Considine from Vice, thinking too much about your future might be fostering unhappiness in your life. Studies show that being grounded in the present and living in the moment causes higher levels of personal happiness. You might be spending a lot of time thinking about what you want your life to look like instead of appreciating what it looks like right now. You have the opportunity for personal growth each and every day. Being present is difficult, especially when our lives seem to be so future focused, but taking at least a few minutes each day to bask in the now will make you happier in the long run. Number four, busy days aren't satisfying to you. Do you feel satisfied with your work when you're being productive? or do you wind up feeling irritated instead? According to Carolyn Stubber from Bustle, misguided irritation is a common sign that you're unhappy with your life. Why do you think you're getting so irritated in the first place? When you're unexpectedly busy, this can cause you to feel run down and exhausted more quickly than if you were participating in activities that you enjoyed. Of course, it's normal to be tired after any kind of busy day, but if you feel constantly irritated or dissatisfied, you might not be spending time on the things that matter most to you. Number five, you ruminate over your purpose. Do you often find yourself wondering, why am I even doing this? To a certain degree, reflection and introspection are good practices to maintain as they help to ensure that you're on the right track. However, according to physician, Dr. Lissa Ranklin, constantly questioning yourself on whether or not you're fulfilling your life's purpose is a good indication that you might be unhappy with your life. According to Rankin, you may feel like your daily life is meaningless or task-driven. This means that you feel caught in between needing to check off your to-do lists and chasing your dreams and passions. If you feel this way, you're not alone. When life gets busy, it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture when your daily tasks start to take up more and more of your time. And number six, you no longer care about your well-being. Have you given up on prioritizing your well-being in your social life? If you're feeling despondent about your life, you might be struggling to find happiness. Disinterest in your own well-being, social life, and regular hobbies can be a strong indication that you're letting your happiness go to the wayside in favor of work and other tasks. This can also apply to other aspects of your well-being such as your physical and emotional health, which contribute to your happiness. Taking care of your mind and protecting your peace is so important, so try not to let go of the things that make you smile. Did you relate to any of these signs of unhappiness? If you feel like you're struggling, know that the power to change and grow is within you and it's just waiting to be tapped into. Or do you possibly have any tips to share about fostering happiness? Tell us about your experiences in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.